Wow, thank you for this. It's a true honor to be acknowledged as an athlete in a room filled with so many, well, rock stars. It's amazing to be here among such accomplished athletes. I will tell you that since having my leg amputated two years ago, running, biking, and swimming have taken on a whole new importance to me. Truthfully, after 10 months of chemo, stamina, which is a new vocabulary word for me, took on a whole new meaning too. To be honest, at the age of 11, I didn't truly understand what a triathlon, even a mountain bike version, was really like. So my dad asked me if I wanted to do one. Only a month after getting my OSER running leg from Challenge Athletes, I said, sure, why not? I mean, we had a whole 10 days to train, so let's do it. <laughs> wow, that was tough. I had no endurance at all. It was so hard that at the end, when there were hundreds of people cheering at the finish line, all I was thinking was, I hope I don't fall on my face. Please, Lord, help me get across the finish line. I had no energy left, but somehow, as you saw in the video, I did it, and it was awesome. I know I'm in a room, but with athletes who push their, push their limits for a living and thrive on living outside their comfort zone. That's a place where I'm learning to get comfortable because I've learned that being outside your comfort zone is where the magic happens. I learned that from Julie Foudy and I've adopted it as one of my mottos too. Endurance, by definition, is the ability to last and stand pain. To endure is to tolerate pain. I imagine one of the hardest parts in achieving athletic greatness is pushing yourself mentally to go where your body doesn't naturally want to go. In these past two years, I have endured and pushed through some pretty intense pain. There's nothing quite like standing up for the first time after you have your leg amputated, fighting through the pain as the blood rushes to the end of your stump for the first time, the intense pain as the severed nerves fire up for the first time, confused as they no longer reach my toes, instead feeling as though they were tied in a knot. Thankfully, that pain was fleeting. I have phantom pain occasionally, but for the most part, the pain I endure is by choice. I choose to push myself further and expect more from my body. Others are not so lucky. I have witnessed two of my fellow osteosarcoma warriors battle the end stages of cancer. Now that is painful. Large tumors filled their lungs, crushed their spines, and crowded their brains. While my friend DJ passed away in May at the age of 10, my dear friend Taylon continues to endure this fate. She's 12, just like me. She has had several surgeries and reached a point where there are no comfortable positions. Yet, she fights on. Her motto is, I'm alive, so I might as well live. And while her ability to do things decreases, her will remains strong. In honor of her and those who have lost their battle, I will continue to endure because my pain is fleeting. I will continue to live life to the fullest, enjoy all it has to offer me, and in everything I do, I will do it wholeheartedly. I owe that to my friends. When I get back home, I will learn how to run on my brand new running leg. Now, with the prosthetic knee, I will get back on my bike and hopefully fall off less. And I will continue to fine tune swimming with one leg instead of two. I still have to figure out how to stop swimming in circles. So, I have some pretty good news for all of you. Your titles, your trophies, and your awards are all safe for now. But as I stand up here and look around the room, I can tell you that I love being active and being outside. So I'm going to press on. I have a couple tries on the calendar. And one day, maybe just one day, I can follow in the footsteps of my inspiration and mentor, Sarah Reinerson, and be the youngest female amputee to finish the Ironman in Coda. That's the plan, anyway. A girl can dream, right? Thank you very much. Sure.